Okay, my name's Ryan, I play bass in Hawkeyes. I'm Paul, I'm a singer in Hawkeyes. I'm Robert, I play guitar in Hawkeyes. I'm John, I play in Hawkeyes, play the drums in Hawkeyes. <laughs> How was it today? Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. This is our fifth time playing Leeds in Reading. It's always very handy to get home very quickly because we all live in Leeds. Off John. John doesn't live in Leeds, so that's not handy for him to get home. What sort of reception do you get? Do you, do you think people realise you're a Leeds band? Do you get a, an extra little bit of a um, response? Or do you think it doesn't have much of an impact? I think sometimes see familiar faces that you recognise from Leeds gigs, yeah, and it always... I think generally we're more well known in Leeds than, than Reading. What about the band themselves? How you, you've, you've, this is your fifth festival. How are you evolving and where do you see yourself evolving to? <laughs> um, is that, is, well, Robert's, um, Robert's, I was just Robert's say, the next I, step in evolution because yeah. he actually had no baby teeth. Yeah. Or tonsils. Or tonsils. Yeah. 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 He was definitely divided. Yeah. So to answer your so, question, yeah. this band is yeah. the next step for the band is to develop to the next step of human evolution. Yeah. That's our ambition. <laughs> Very similar to X Men. Yeah. <laughs> where do you see it going though? Where, how do you seriously? How do you see it? Uh, you see it uh, well, we're at the point where we're very independent. We're not beholden to any labels or yeah. have to answer to anyone. We can do what we want when we want. We're lucky enough that we can tour around the world. Yeah, we just we just played this summer with um, the Foo Fighters, Faith No More, Metallica. Slash, 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 slosh. What, what really else do people want us to do? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, as a, if you could give us some tips on how to top that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just about to say, how have you achieved this wonderful scenario with independence from record companies? Sheer, um, sheer doggedness. Yeah. I like Paul's way of saying it, which is idiots that won't stop, <laughs> basically. I, and and yeah. I mean, obviously, that's like self deprecate but it's. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's just you know. Yeah, the it's only, the late. We do it for love. And we just keep the doing only, it. The only thing that drives it is ourselves. Yeah. I mean, as far as it being a commercially viable thing, that's that's totally dead in the water. But we only do it for. <laughs> Sell yourself, Ryan. <laughs> we only do it. We only do it for our own benefit. It's not only, for anybody else's. I only do it for the European service station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're, they're great. There are perks. There are perks. Ca catering at European gigs is amazing. It's something to like go on holiday for and just embrace. But and what's the catering like at the Leeds Festival? I haven't been yet. I'll give you. A, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a review I'll in give a minute. Email follow up. Yeah, yeah. I'll let, let you know on that. Um. I, I, sense, I sense there's a lot of hard work behind this and that you've had to put a, a fair bit in. Um, just talk us through that a bit. It's not easy for bands, is it, in all seriousness? No. It's been like 10, 10 years in the making so it's far. 10 years in the making, but, you know, we could, we could stand here and give you a bleeding heart story about how difficult it's been for us to get to where we've gone to, but we've done it because we wanted to do it. And it is tougher, I suppose, for bands, apparently, than it used to be back in the day. But I wasn't there back in the day, so I can't tell you whether that's true or not. So, yeah. um, I don't know, if, if you're expecting to get a golden submarine... And <laughs> There's no golden <laughs> submarine. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. But if you, if you want to meet a load of interesting people and see a bit of life and have fun with your friends, then, then it's worth sticking at, isn't it? Are you guys, how did you all meet? Are you all lead sort of... All the same school, you're from down south, obviously. How did it all come together? Uh, me Rob, and Ryan yeah. have known each other since we were five. We went to school together. John and Paul have known each other since we were school. 11. Oh, yeah. numbers. We went to school together. So you'd be described as a proper band, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Band, There's no adverts in Melody Maker. It's none of this hype nonsense. No, no, no. But yeah, that's a nice point actually. It's not. It, we're not formed. We, we didn't. We weren't. We didn't put ourselves together to fulfil a remit. No record label wanted this to happen. <laughs> people, generally, people generally still don't want it to happen. To be honest, but again, that goes back to idiots who just won't stop. It's like. If, if we get to go out and play amazing gigs every summer and have these great life opportunities, then I don't, don't care what anybody else thinks. And of course you all get on, you never fall out. It's never... Yeah. A <laughs> no, no, no we never! Do, no, much, like, the, there's, there's disagreements and there's, there's clashing sometimes, but there's never, 
There's never drama. How, how important do you think festivals are generally for to get to get the word across to people who there's, haven't heard of you? There's too many of them. It's too many of them. There's too many of them. Now, why is that? It's saturated these days. I think. I don't think there's the the kind of crowd or the the up, the uptake on them. Really, it's calmed down a little bit uh, in the last two years, but it was it was getting to the point where anybody, every man and his dog, was putting on a festival and nobody was turning up. So, and the thing is about. A Leeds Festival especially highlights it. There's only so many bands that can pull off a headline show on that main stage. And you think about the sort of recycling of the, the headlining bands that has gone on in the past 10 years. It's, it's got to that point where is it, is it actually that sustainable? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think the festivals are important in you know, getting bands a leg up. You know, if, if it wasn't for this festival we wouldn't had a career because the BBC put us on in 2009 and they gave us our first real break in terms of playing to a wider audience. So I think they are useful um, because you've got a captive audience and it's people who've paid to go and see bands and they don't necessarily know what bands they're going to see. So it's a good opportunity to spread the word about yourself. But, um, I don't know, they're, they're, they're here to stay in some ways because I think they've changed the landscape quite a lot. People, bands don't tour as much as they used to do. But, um, they just do a summer season yeah, though, don't they? Yeah. But we've had some really good summer seasons <laughs> where we've been all over Europe and, you know, to hell and back. Yeah. <laughs> we've had a good time along the way. Yeah. <laughs>